our final presenter today is Anthony Olatunji Akareli. His supervisor is Dr. Sukinder Kaur Chima. And uh, Anthony is doing a PhD in biochemistry at the Memorial University of Newfoundland. Um, his talk will be omega-3 intake during pregnancy, finding perfect maternal diet for brain health. Woo! Can I go now? You can go now, good luck. Thank you. Just take a look at the picture of the newborn. It reminds me of the day I became a father. We all see this as a picture of perfect health. We know COVID-19 to worry about, no assault and no trauma. But what if the future mental health of this baby has already been shaped during pregnancy? According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, one out of every five Canadian, we experience a mental disorder every year. And it's even more shocking to know that Newfoundland has the highest rate of separation due to mental illness in Canada. And despite the huge effort channeled into finding the cause as well as the cure of mental disorders, it often feels like you are fighting a losing battle. I'm sure some of you are wondering by now, what is the connection between pregnancy and mental health? I will get to that in a minute. In the early 80s, Professor David Barker was the first to tell us that what mothers eat during pregnancy has a profound health implication on the babies, even at adulthood. What does this mean? This means that most mental disorders are likely have been programmed during pregnancy. So what is the solution to this global problem? Before I proceed, how many of you have heard that eating fish is good for you? You can raise up your hand. Yes, that's exactly how my PhD comes in. There's a unique nutrient in fish known as omega-3, which is important for the development and function of the brain. And in my PhD research, I have developed a mathematical model to determine the adequate amount of omega-3 required for proper brain development during pregnancy. And as of today, we have successfully tested my formulation in mice. And it's so fascinating to know that mice consuming adequate amount of omega-3 in their diet do not only have high omega-3 in the brain of their babies, but it increased the secretion of neurotrophins. Do not worry. Neurotrophin is just the name for chemicals that maintains the integrity of your brain as you grow old. Let's step back a little bit. For those of you that bake at home, you will agree with me that the taste as well as the keeping quality of your cake is dependent on your recipe, right? In the same vein, my PhD will ensure that each baby have adequate omega-3 in their brain during pregnancy. And with this promising alternative, we can secure a lifetime smile in each baby's face by being free of programmed mental illness. Thank you. Woo! 